Hello, welcome. Cabbage here. Uh, today, let's have another look at uh, Tsukuyomi. Uh, but this time, let's use some characters that uh, usually are not recommended. Um, they are all perfectly fine uh, for the stage, though. They all have the uh, no gravity barrier, and then their attack uh, is high enough to uh, do the one punch on the enemies here. All right. As I explained in the last video, if you aim for that little ribbon, then uh, you will uh, pass the level in one turn. And then uh, here we want a um, pierce type. Um, so we're just going to wait for um, Lucifer's turn. Really his name is uh, Satan, but I can understand why they changed that for the English release. Alright, so here he goes. And then uh, you might have noticed, but uh, Beelzebub, his uh, Meteor Bump combo, it took out that uh, top enemy in a one hit. Uh, so that's super duper useful. Alright, and then here you just want to get in the um, that angle there. Didn't have quite enough speed. Alright, um, to introduce my characters, first I'm using a Lancelot X. Uh, he has no gravity barrier and uh, recovery, and then um, if he hits all three of your other guys with uh, his recovery, you'll get back about maybe 22-23% life back, uh, which is enormous uh, for this stage. So he's very, very useful. Uh, and also I was lucky enough to get his uh, one-way laser into the boss's weak point, so we saw how much uh, that took away. Um, of course, you can't really... Um, you can't really position for the one-way laser, um, because you have more important things to worry about, but if it is uh, available, then it's a great tool. Alright, next up is um, Hattori Hanzo, uh, the evolution version. Uh, most people use his uh, ascension version because of the uh, double null ability, um, but the evolution version has um, better stats. Uh, almost ridiculous stats. Uh, very high hit points, very high attack, very high speed. Uh, I think his attack may be high enough even that if he gets the, um, the power down, he can still take down guys in a one hit. We'll see if we, we can uh, prove that in this video here. And then, um, let's see, next is uh, Satan. Uh, Pierce. Deity Slayer, no gravity barrier. <clears throat> uh, so in that way, he is uh, very similar to Napoleon, who is one of the uh, top recommended characters for this uh, mission. Um, so instead of Napoleon, uh, Napoleon has a, um, I think it's a blast bump combo, which is great for um, setting off uh, other people's bump combos. Uh, but Satan has the um, homing, uh, which is also good if um, you need to take down a weakened enemy. And then uh, finally is a Beelzebub uh, Ascension. Uh, no gravity barrier. Uh, and he also has uh, very good stats, especially his speed, which is over 400, I think, which is pretty ridiculous for a balance character. And then, uh, as you saw earlier, his bump combo is the, uh, the Meteor, um, the one-shot Meteor. And uh, that is strong enough to take out uh, one of the little enemies in one hit. So uh, even if you miss a guy, um, you can uh, pick him up with the um, meteor. Alright. So on the stage before this, uh, with uh, Tsukuyomi in the middle and then the three guys on the bottom, uh, the best angle to use is a 45 degree angle uh, for your bounce characters. Um, because that gives you the greatest chance of hitting as many guys as possible. Um, the thing about the 45 degree angle is that it's also the easiest angle to uh, get wedged in between two guys. So on uh, this stage, the next stage, um, the, uh, the best angles to use are about uh, 20. Um, and then, so you can go uh, back and forth in between the, uh, the two rows of guys at a 20 degree angle. And then uh, you will uh, hit them all, and also have uh, almost no chance of uh, getting wedged in between them. Alright. 
Um, so I didn't mention everybody's uh, strike shot. Uh, Lancelot X, he has a uh, strike shot where he becomes a pierce and then his uh, speed goes way up. Um, this can be excellent um, to get him out of a uh, place with bad positioning. Um, and it can also be great uh, to ensure that you hit all of your teammates uh, to get the most of your recovery. Uh, and next is uh, Hattori Hanzo. He has the... Um, he has a strike shot. It's like a mini anti-everything strike shot. It uh, creates a barrier around him that uh, ignores damage. Um, so... If uh, damage walls... Um, appear in the uh, later stages, uh, then that's the perfect chance to use um, Hattori Hanzo's Strike Shot, uh, because his barrier will protect against those damage walls. And then also his speed goes way up, uh, so you can hit more guys, and then the barrier lasts maybe two or three more turns, so you can prevent damage that way. Uh, next is uh, Satan. His uh, Strike Shot is a laser. And then, as we can see, there are a lot of uh, laser barriers uh, in this uh, mission. Um, but in the very last stage, there are no laser barriers, so that can be a good place to use it. Um, and then, uh, at the end, where there are two uh, Tsukiyomis, if you can hit both uh, Tsukiyomis with that uh, laser strike shot, that will do double damage. Uh, and then last is uh, Beelzebub. Uh, he also has a uh, barrier uh, strike shot, uh, but instead of doing it on himself, he does it to uh, his uh, teammates that he hits. And uh, since we're taking damage every turn, uh, this is very valuable uh, for this mission. Alright, so uh, hopefully with my explanation, um, we see that these characters are actually pretty good for Tsukuyomi. Uh, even though their names uh, do not come up uh, very often. Alright, so here we are on the uh, first boss stage. And then uh, here we can use mostly 45 degree angles, um, unless you see uh, a better angle. And then um, I think we did see just now Hattori Hanzo. He did have the power down and he was not able to take down guys in one hit, so I take back what I said earlier. Okay. All right, pretty good. So I'm using all uh, Hatcher characters here, and then um, if you watched my other video where I use some uh, drop monsters, you can see that we're um, we're uh, what do you call it? Advancing uh, much more quickly. Not much more quickly, but somewhat more quickly than using uh, drop monsters, uh, because drop monsters just don't do as much damage. All right, so um, first priority on uh, this mission, uh, this stage, is to take out the Tiamat down there uh, because he will do uh, ability lock and damage walls. Uh, we were not able to get him, so we have all these guys. Uh, but with uh, the Pierce character, we can avoid the uh, damage walls pretty easily. And then uh, now that the Tiamat is gone, we can focus on um, getting rid of as many of the little guys and the shields as possible. Uh, because uh, Tsukuyomi will revive uh, two other characters every turn. Alright, I see our hit points are in a bad place and the uh, screen is full. So we're going to go ahead and use Lancelot's uh, Pierce Strike Shot. And yeah, we'll clear the field, almost. Yeah, if your luck is bad, uh, Tiamat is going to come back every turn. Alright. Alright, well that was some lucky uh, boots there. <laughs> um, if possible, you do not want to get your bounce guys stuck um, above uh, Tsukiyomi. Um, because it will be very difficult to get out and then uh, clear the field of the other uh, guys. Okay, alright, finally our luck uh, was good for once. So here I see the field is clear. Um, I have a greater chance of hitting more of my teammates, so we're going to go ahead and use Beelzebub's uh, Strike Shot, uh, which will give a barrier to whoever we hit. 
All right. So that was good timing. Uh, we avoided damage and then also the uh, ability lock from Sukiyomi just there. Okay, who's got next? All right, just taking care of the little guys. And mm, lucky bounces, so we cleared the stage. And last stage. So here we could use uh, Satan's uh, laser strike shot, um, but of course we want to take out the uh, the wizard looking guys. Uh, they are the uh, top priority. Okay. Again, just taking out the wizards. Um, taking out the knights too, if we can. And then doing damage to the boss. And uh, when Lancelot X gets uh, ability locked, his uh, recovery doesn't work. Uh, that's the most annoying thing in the world. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to keep uh, taking down little guys. Oh, and I guess we'll use uh, Hattori's uh, strike shot. Um, so that we can get our speed up, uh, take down all the little guys, and then also get the, uh, the barrier in effect. Alright, so um, positioning here is pretty good. Uh, we can get some of the Deity Slayer damage onto uh, Tsukuyomi and then also take out the little guys. Alright, taking out the little guys. Alright, so here we're going to use Lancelot X's recovery, and then we have an easy shot on everybody, so... Yeah, we just about doubled our hit points there. That's enormous. Alright, taking out the wizards. And now, uh, Lancelot X, he is actually in good position to use his uh, one-way laser. So let's take advantage of that, and uh, we can also get the Deity Slayer into the weak point there. So lots of damage, great. Alright, uh, second, uh, Tsukiyomi has appeared, so we want to uh, defeat the boss before they heal each other. And again, the one-way laser, it came in very handy. All right. Um, so that was the walkthrough with uh, sort of dark horse characters for uh, Tsukuyomi. And then uh, really as long as you have a grasp of the uh, like the angles and then the um, which enemies to take down first, uh, you can take almost anybody. Uh, but I recommend these four. Alrighty, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Take care.